Hello and welcome. I'm Kippy from KippyAtHome.com. I'm so glad y'all joining me today. I'm going to do a really quick 4th of July reef using clothespins and some Rust-Oleum paint. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip those little clothespins onto a cardboard box, give them a spray, might have to make two, might have to do two coats, and then I'll show you what comes next. All right, now that we've got our clothespins all painted and dry, I just wanted to show you that I love this um, Rust-Oleum paint. And I also wanted to discuss about this form. This is a 12 inch wire form for a reef. And I used this, and it was green to begin with, and I used a little bit of red spray paint, and I used that piece of wire and hung it in a tree and gave it a spray. But what I wanted to show you is to determine how many clothespins you actually need it would depend on if you got the one that is it's not 12 inches in diameter that's the difference it's how wide it is it has an extra row of wire well actually it's not really an extra row but they're wider so it has more surface area to cover if you have the more narrow one then you'll only need two clips per space the other one i'm going to say you're going to between the two the two clip space you actually will need three spaces and you'll see three clips you'll see what i mean in a second so you'll have to determine that and you can kind of maybe just see what you have before you start painting so you could uh see but a couple two packages of those clothespins are about they're about, usually like 50 in a package two, that's 100 that's that's enough so i'm also showing you that if you put them on there you definitely want to make sure that you get them all the way deep in there so they stay where they're supposed to be now on this you can see that they're kind of going out and around they're wider at the top because it's a circle than the insides so you'll have to kind of angle them and you can see and adjust it as you go but you can see how i'm filling that space in and it makes it really interesting you'll see at the end how it makes it a little um you know a little fuller and wider and it, more places to put the little stars it's going to be really cute so we'll just continue like this i'm going to put the blue on first and then i'm going to take the space that's left and i'm going to do red and white and, and end with red so i did a little calculating to see and then i made some adjustments at the end but you can see that you can just move these around it you know it's easy so as you can see how this is only using two 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 and this is on one two three one two three so that's what you're going to see if you're going to need that extra one do you see how it makes it like a little more it's a little more fun and almost kind of you know starbursty all right, so we'll finish up with the blue and we'll continue. So once I get my blue finished, I'm gonna start with my next row, it's gonna be my red, and just kind of determining there's no right or wrong. And then this is so simple that kids can do it. And this will be just a really fun little thing to maybe take over and, you know, take to a friend maybe who's been sick or whatever and just leave it on the front porch for them and they'd just be surprised. So I'm gonna put my red in there and kind of determine, you know, where I wanna stop and then start my white. And I, I did a couple of adjustments because it's, um, like I said, is it so easy to change and you kind of, you know, just kind of coming and going. So I did, I did make a couple changes. I made my red section that you see that I just finished a little smaller and moved my um, clips down. So it's super simple to make any kind of adjustment up to you how you want to do it all right I'm just gonna put a couple more clips in we're almost finished and I just wanted to give you this little heads up that if it doesn't end up being an even amount of red and white and it doesn't end where you wanted it then you can subtract or add so I do a couple extra of each color just in case I have to make an adjustment so I will put all of that information below Here's some tools that I use to do my next part. And the aqua glue is like the best glue I've ever used. My daughter bought bought it um, originally, and I thought, well, that sounds so silly, water glue. But then I used it because she had it out, and now I'm in love. So what I'm using this glue for 
is to use my little stars. Last year I did this little sign and put it out with our sprinklers and I just thought I would use that same cutout and here's some more, you know, just the different sizes and if you're like me and like to do a little cute decorate and you'll definitely use those. So I can share that with you as well. So I use the Cricut Maker because, you know, cutting it out by hand is a thing of the past for me. But if you want to, you can, and I can share that with you too, you know, the little thing to, so you can cut it out by hand or you can use an X-Acto knife. So I'm just using a little paper because we're using what we have. Now this, I just use cardstock that I use for my printer. I didn't, nothing fancy. And you could use a paper, you know, a paper plate or whatever you have and make the little stars. If you have the wooden stars, great. But I'm going to tell you, I've had an incredibly hard time. I wanted to find red, white, and blue ribbon, and um, I cannot find it anywhere. So we're just going to work with what we have. My daughter recommended that I use this, these little tweezers. And you can see that I'm not coordinating. Uh, I don't have the same hand coordination she has. <laughs> so it's a little bit difficult. But if that works out better for you, then by all means, um, use them. So I'm just going to, you know, randomly place the stars and just kind of have fun with that as well. All right. I'm going to put on my last star. And this project is pretty much a wrap. So I told you it was going to be fun. And it turned out super cute. I, it's even better in real life. You're just going to love making one of these. And can you imagine? You can do them for every season. And all you have to do, you could actually use the form over and over. Just take the clips off, and you might use red and white at Christmas time. Take the thing off, put green on there, and you just change the bow. Okay, so then some of my other leftover paint. I used, cut these little pieces of wood out of 2 by 4 from my scrap pile. And then I used some use my Cricut Maker again and cut these out and my daughter will be sharing how to do that. She's Olivia O'Hearn and you can I'll put some information about that as well and all of the things that we use so you can find those same things. So here I wanted to show you how that what the difference is. See how much fuller that is you just end up with a whole lot more. So I would be looking for the one that has a little wider spaces and I can share that information with you to make sure you get that, uh, bi the bigger one. What's well, actually still just 12 inches, but you'll see. All right, so this would be super cute if you put a little bow on it or um, lean, you could lean it up against something on the fireplace, just anything, put it on the door. You know, I, I think it just, it's going to make everybody feel happy. We all need a little happy right now. All right, I hope y'all will keep coming back and crafting with us. We appreciate you sharing your time with us. Y'all have a, a fantastic uh, week and happy 4th of July.